Okay, we're cutting across live to images from Punjab, Mohali, where the mortal remains of former Chief Minister of the State and veteran Akali Dal leader Prakash Singh Badal have now been brought from the hospital in Mohali to the Shiromani Akali Dal party office for followers, supporters and politicians to come and pay their last respects to the departed soul. Tomorrow, he will be laid to rest in his ancestral village of Badal in Muktasar district of Punjab. You can see those images that are coming in from the Shiromani Akali Dal party office. Prakash Singh Badal is survived by his son Sukhbir Badal and his daughter. Rahul Shrivastav is joining us at the moment. Rahul, we're getting those images of Parkash Singh Badal's mortal remains being brought to the Shiromani Akali Dal party office in Mohali. He, of course, leaves behind a very, very long legacy and a huge task also for his son to rebuild the party upwards because during his time, as he built the party over these several years, he also saw in 2022 the party being brought down and reduced to only three assembly seats in the Punjab Vidhan Sabha. Yes, follow me. Uh, I think a colossus who walked across a very, very turbulent state, uh, a state which not only if you, if you talk about the character of the state, it is a border state. It has seen wars with Pakistan and some very, very active uh, skirmishes. It has seen emergency. It has seen militancy, 1984 riots, the impact, the radicalization. And in all that, if you talk about Prakash Singh Badal, uh, a reconciler, somebody who had the capacity to take storms over his shoulder, somehow absorb them. He expanded politics of Punjab from mere dominance of Sikhism to Punjab, Punjabi, Punjabi. That was a fantastic Moga, uh, Moga conclave that uh, the Akali Dal had. There was a Moga declaration in 1996. And after that, he's, uh, the Akali Dal became uh, a, from dominantly a party of the Sikhs to a party which was much more inclusive. Hindus started uh, getting uh, more tickets as far as the Akali Dal is concerned. One amazing thing about uh, Prakash Singh Badal was that despite some very radicalized uh, atmosphere in Punjab for a certain period of time. And, and, and it states like, for example, if you see Jammu and Kashmir, where leaders have used that polarization and uh, uh, that separatism as a political currency, Prakash Singh Badal was never into that. And in fact, my first meeting with him was in 1989. Uh, and at that time, it was uh, when I met him, there was just one day before that, there was a bomb blast in Batala and the militancy was at its peak. And I asked him that, don't you think that uh, something aligning with the militants more, uh, uh, more visibly will help your fortunes? So he talked about uh, Guru Nanak Bani and he said that the term uh, Hindustani uh, is Hindustani and Hindustaniyat has been mentioned for the first time in Guru Nanak Bani. And he says that I will not. And true to his words, Prakash Singh Badal may have uh, boycotted elections in 1992, come back with a thumping majority, uh, created better alliances than anybody. I think it was amazing that uh, in 1970, when Gurnam Singh, the chief minister, defected to the Congress, uh, he joined hands with the Jansang to form a government. 1996, he joined hands with the BJP, and it was an alliance with Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He was one of the first ones to support Akhil Bihari Vajpayee's 13-day government. Uh, and Akali Dal expanded its base in Punjab, joined hand with the BJP, which was uh, at one time talking about Sikhism as Keshdhari Hindus. Now, so despite those differences between the communities and the RSS and the Akali Dal agendas, Prakash Singh Badal could bring people together. And that's what... Uh, uh, an amazing element about, about Prakash Singh Badal. The second very important, uh, as me and you, all of us journalists see, that more as people rise in political careers or in life, their modesty and humility levels go down. Prakash Singh Badal was never like that. Prakash Singh Badal was uh, considered to be 
an amazing father figure. His wittiness, his and, and his his body used to quiver when he used to joke. And uh, I remember his meetings with Atal Bihari Vajpayee. That Atal Bihari Vajpayee used to tell us that uh, Prakash Singh Badal is one of the nicest allies to deal with. And at that time, if you recall, Jayalalita Mamata Banerjee was a troublesome alliance partner that Atal Bihari Vajpayee had. And one critical thing, yes, as you said very rightly, that since he strode like a colossus, everything that happened in Punjab, the movements, the Satluj Yamuna Canal, uh, uh, the state, uh, the Suba, the fight for the Suba, uh, since the 1966 uh, uh, reorientation of Punjab, in everything there was a Prakash Singh Badal presence. And that is why his absence is going to be uh, extremely critical as far as the Akali Dal is concerned. Remember today, it's a, uh, I was looking at it and it's, it's very ironic that the oldest party in India, uh, the Akali, the Congress party is out of power in Punjab. The uh, second oldest Akali Dal as far as uh, in terms of its birth, is out of uh, power in Punjab. And the youngest party, perhaps, in Punjab is in power in Punjab. And in a scenario like uh, this, where Aam Aadmi Party has really done well in Punjab to catch the imagination of the voters, it will be very tough for uh, Mr. Subhit Singh Badal to bring together the party. Though one can say that definitely there is a talent pool in the party which he can galvanize and perhaps resurrect the Akali Dal, mm -hmm. but it's a difficult time. Mr. Prakash Singh Badal himself lost the election in 2022 with right. 11,000 votes. Exactly. And uh, at the age of 94, imagine a man who became chief minister as the youngest chief minister of Punjab in 1970 at the age of 43, and then becoming the oldest candidate to contest an election uh, in uh, at the age of 94, and then oldest chief minister in 2012. Absolutely. So remains that there are too many divisions. Mr. Dhinsa, a senior leader, has gone. There are so many senior leaders who have gone away because of Sri Singh Badal and the Akali Dal turning from a very cadre-based party to a family party. I think Absolutely. That so there's a gigantic is, uh, task that lies ahead of Subir Singh Badal. Rahul, stay on with us. Manjeet Sehgal is also joining us. He is at the Shiromani Akali Dal party office at the moment. Manjeet, we can see a sea of supporters and followers and well-wishers of uh, the party who have in fact gathered to pay their last respects to the departed veteran Punjab leader. Manjeet, if you're able to hear me, we can see that many supporters, followers, well-wishers of the Shirumani Akali Dal, those who of course looked up to Parkash Singh Badal and of course his contributions towards the state of Punjab have gathered to pay their last respects to the veteran leader. Yes, uh, follow me. But the mortal remains have been brought to the party office located at Sector 28 in Chandigarh where large number of people have gathered and are paying the last respects to the uh, leader who passed away yesterday. He was 95. The Punjab government has also announced uh, a, a state mourning on Thursday when the cremation will take place at Badal's ancestral village in Muktsar district. Uh, many dignitaries, including the Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man and Prime Minister Narendra Modi, are also expected to uh, reach uh, Chandigarh and to pay their respects to. Uh, the leader uh, who remained uh, the chief minister as much as five terms and uh, was regarded as a tall uh, leader not only in Punjab but as the national level as well. Prakash Singh Badal has left a big void in Punjab's politics and Prime Minister Narendra Modi while reacting to Badal's death has said that this was a personal loss. Follow me. Okay. Manjeet there of course reporting from Mohali. Today of course uh, Several supporters of uh, the Shiromani Akali Dal, those of course paying their last respects to the stalwart Punjab leader, have gathered in Mohali to pay their last respects. We expect Prime Minister Modi also to reach Mohali by noon today to pay his last respects to the veteran 
Punjab leader who was five time chief minister of the state of Punjab, Manjeet Segal and Rahul Srivastava. Thank you for joining us.